Nicole here with Obscure Reptiles and Caging, and today our first clutch of 2023 is hatching. So let's get started. Hey guys, it's like 5 a.m., so we're going to be a little bit quiet today. Um, we're just going to do a nice chill video, pulling um, some of the babies out. I think all but one have hatched. We put them in another 12 hours in the incubator just to give that last one a little bit more time. Um, if that one hasn't fully hatched, we're just going to throw it right back in the incubator when we're done with this video. Uh, but this is from our banana pied female. We put her with two different males, a Mojave pied male and a pastel pinstripe enchi male. And it actually looks like both dads are the father. It's called a dual sired clutch and it can happen if you put multiple males in. Let's get started. Uh, I think we'll start with, we've got this one right here, this right here is a banana pied. Maze, please don't walk forward. My dog is very curious. It's just a baby snake. Yeah. Please don't. <laughs> the whole camera gets knocked over. We know why. Um, what I have here, this is just some room temperature water. When babies start to hatch, I will purposely leave the water out at least overnight in the reptile room so it gets nice and warm. <laughs> Maze, you're going to knock everything over. Please don't. Um, that way, you know, it's not too cold, it's not too warm. And all I'm doing right now is rinsing off the perlite, which is the white substrate in here. Normally I like to use vermiculite, but when I ordered vermiculite, perlite came in, so that's what we have. Um, I wasn't overly thrilled with it. It really works the same as the um, vermiculite, except it doesn't feel wet to the touch. Uh, you can kind of just tell if it's lost w water um, by picking it up, and you can feel that it's not so heavy. Um, but you could use either as a substrate. I just prefer vermiculite because then you can actually touch it and know you know the humidity content just by touching it but here's this little one all cleaned up and we're going to check the genders of everybody so I showed you guys in another video but I prefer to pop babies very easy alright so this is a little boy little male banana pied um, we only have people waiting on female bananas from this clutch, so everything I show you that won't be a f uh, just a straight up female banana should be available. So for example, this little male banana is going to be available. For you guys who don't know, you can check out our videos on our wait list. It's super simple. You just do a deposit. These guys take 5 to 12 weeks to be ready, so it gives you plenty of time to save. Um, but we have videos on that. It's on our Twister Reptiles Facebook page, all that type of stuff. But first one, little male banana pied. Hi, Maze. <laughs> So we're put a lid on that. Okay. Got another one cruising. So just by picking this little one up, I can I'm guessing it's one of the last ones to come out of the eggs because sometimes their little umbilical belly button is still connected. Um, it's not going to affect the animal. We're going to put it with the others. If it had a really large one, I might leave it in the incubator, but this is going to have very high humidity and I'm going to be checking them every 12 hours to make sure it stays nice and humid in there. But this should dry, shrink up. It'll shrivel and fall right off within the next 12 to 24 hours. Uh, but I'm going to guess that this one is a pastel banana because compared to the other one is much lighter but until first shed, it's going to be very difficult to tell. So this one would be a baby from the pastel pinstripe enchi pied. The other one, we just don't know. So, very gently. This one is actually a female. So female pastel banana pied. Possibly will be available. Um, instead of commenting if you guys are available on stuff, because there's really no good way to reach you other than commenting back and forth, um, if you guys would just shoot a message to Twister Reptiles Facebook page, that helps a lot. Um, we'll stick with the banana theme. So this one right here is a banana pinstripe. So the thing that makes me believe this is a dual sired clutch is actually the one that's still in the egg. So if this little one which we're going to leave him or her to be. 
I believe, just based on the look, that looks like a banana Mojave pie. If it is, then yes, it's a dual-sided clutch. But if for some reason there's actually a pattern on the bottom, I don't want to mess with them, or like you don't ever want to like pull them out of the egg or move them. I'm just glancing at them. And you can tell they're going to be in the egg for a little while because you can see the veins are all red on here. Um, normal eggs, once they've come out, they've completely shrunk, shriveled up, um, and they die off because the baby's absorbed everything. So we're going to leave that one alone. So it kind of depends on that one. If it ends up not being Mojave Pied, maybe it's not a dual sire clutch because several of these pieds look like they're pastel. So that again would be the pastel pinstripe entry pied. And this one right here definitely shows pinstripe. But I'm pretty positive that one's a Mojave Pied just by the head stamp and the way that it looks where it is. Um, actually, this is a part of um, vermiculite I don't like. See the little dot on their head sometimes because their head comes out first and it dries off, vermiculite will stick up there because there was a little bit of vermiculite left in that bin from last season. But this is a pinstripe banana pied. This one's pretty sweet looking. It's got a really nice amount of white to orange. People, a lot of people like the high white stuff, but my favorite is when it goes all the way up and down. Pinstripe banana pied. And we'll give it a check little boy. So also keep in mind, because the mom is the banana for all of these babies, any male, bo male bananas um, are actually going to be female makers. So if you keep him and breed him, 99% of the bananas you produce are going to be female. So these are all going to be female maker bananas. I should have probably said that in the beginning, um, but female maker males all these bananas that are in this clutch. So it looks like we have a pastel banana and a pinstripe banana, both female makers. So everyone else in this clutch looks to be a pied, so we're just going to set everyone in the water. I believe we've got to be honest, I'm not sure what one of these guys are. They look pretty strange compared to what you would expect, but I'll show you guys that one last. Um, first of all, we definitely have a normal pied right here. Let me get off some more of this vermiculite, or perlite. I also like the perlite, or the vermiculite, the brown stuff better, because it doesn't float in this water. It sinks to the bottom, so it makes cleaning them off much easier. Uh, this perlite seems to float, and it makes it a little bit more difficult, but this is a normal pied. One thing I do have to say is my pies almost always turn out fantastic. They got super dark all the way up the, the spine. We've got some really light colors. We've got a prisoner escaping. Hold on one second. Great, great contrast. Once these guys all shed, they're going to look much better. I'll take pictures of them in either a light box or take them outside because it's finally nice out. But this is a great example of a male or a female pied. I'm not really sure which one this is. So far we've had mostly males. Normally I get mostly males. Last season was the one exception, but every other year I've had mostly males. And it's a male. <laughs> I shouldn't have spoke so soon. Now we have two here that are pastel pieds. And one, it could be a pastel pied, but I'm really not sure. So these are the pastel pieds, and I've shown you the pied. And then we've got this strange looking one. It's got a lot of browns, almost like it was a Mojave. But, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but it's got a lot more browns. It's not very pastel-y. Um, and again, once these shed, you'll be able to see the green eyes, stuff like that. This could be a pastel pied, but again, I'm not convinced. It doesn't look henchy, it doesn't look pinstripe. And so I'm really not sure. We have to really wait till after shed. But these two look like pastel pieds. So let's check these. Yeah, I'm really not a fan of this uh, perlite when it comes to it doesn't sink. And we've got another male. So this one right here is a male. It's actually got another really good amount of white to color. Let me put that one in the mail. 
Yeah, we're not killing it with the odds this year with, with uh, gender. And we got this one, another pastel pied. They do have some fantastic patterns, though. All right, guys, what do you guys think, male or female? Oh, little buddy. And it's a male. <laughs> So if anyone's looking for a male pied, we'll give you a great discount. So if anyone's looking for a male pied, we'll give you a great deal. We've got quite the selection. And now, this little unknown, I'm guessing it's just an odd colored pastel pied. But it's just very brown. I don't know if the camera's gonna show how like chocolatey it is on the sides. I'm really not sure. And just a tiny bit of color on the tip of its tail. Actually, this one's a female. So, this one's an oddball. Hopefully it was shed, and I'll send it to a photo to a couple different people. I love the little yellow tail. But that is the clutch. Two females, mostly male. We still have that one more to hatch out. Um, when um, I'm probably going to give it at least 24 hours before even checking again. But these are our two females. Banana possible pastel and possible pastel pied. Both female. You gotta keep putting the lids on. These prisoners keep trying to escape. Two male pastel pieds. A normal male pied. A male banana pied and a male pinstripe pied. Still a super awesome clutch. I normally get mostly males, which I'm totally used to now. It used to kind of bum me out, but I'm still getting super awesome babies, super healthy, great colors and patterns, a little bit of everything, so I couldn't be happier. We've actually got two more pie clutches who are in the incubator, and currently we are waiting on albino pie, purple passion, another pied, and a clown clutch. Um, we might also get some from a GHR Mojave, another clown, and a lesser pinstripe but those ones we haven't seen ovulate the other ones we're just waiting on their actual eggs so if you guys are looking for something cool shoot us a message if you haven't already please subscribe we do new videos actually a couple times a week now so i'll see you guys in the next video